do that the last few games. So, um, you know, he actually did play some point for us in each of the last two games before this, but we knew they were going to blitz pick and rolls. They have. They've been pretty successful at taking the ball out of guards' hands, and I thought our guards did a good job of getting to the bigs, and then it's a big's responsibility to make the play. Um, I thought Greg was really good in the seams. That, that's one of the things he does best is pass the ball. Did you realize he had a triple double? Tonight? I had no idea until Jeff told me when we were walking down, or Christian told me when we were walking down the hallway. What's your reaction to that? Sweet. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, he made the right basketball play. Like it's great for him, and um, the rebounding, the the passing. He's always, you know, he can. If he's going to play a lot of minutes, he's going to probably get a double double for sure. Um, but the way that they were playing again it was going to open up opportunities, and then it's a matter of picking out the right pass. And he did that more often than not. Coach, when you watch some of the guys that you uh, favored all season in terms of their competitiveness and their effort, a game like this gratifying to see the way this guy's played? I think it's, you know, we just said in the locker room, everything matters, whether you're playing the night or you're not playing the night, right? There's a purpose behind what you're doing and you're learning something that you take to the next game. Um, you know, you feel even more comfortable putting those guys in the next time. and. I think that's a big part of it. That's a big deal. Um, and, you know, you're happy for them because, you know, a guy like, you know, Jonathan Gibson was in Vegas yesterday. He took the red eye. Like, and then that first ball rolls in and he hits two more. And now, uh, you know, now he's, now he's, uh, feels good and letting it fly. But that's who he is. Um, and, you know, it's fun to see him and Jabari Bird um, do what they did. The way Jalen talked about the way he stepped up and took leadership. No, he was he was good. He was he was good. We we need Jalen to be, you know, appropriately aggressive. And I thought he was tonight. Like I thought, you know, if teams are going to go under screens like they did, he needs to come off there firing. And you know, he's a really capable shooter, and um, we need him to be aggressive. And you know, I think that he's got to pick and choose his spots, right? But I think that um, you know. He, Terry, um, Jason Tatum, you know, those wings, those young wings, they're going to need to be aggressive over the next few weeks. Brad, we, last three games, we use them to kind of determine rotations and how certain guys work together. We also use that to determine who makes the playoff roster. We haven't discussed at all about making any changes to our team, so that's not even been a discussion. I think at the end of the day, um, we'll play at least one maybe two of the games with our group um, as that with the whole group and we'll, we'll go from there but you know we, we generally know what each guy is going to bring to the table what each guy does best and how it's going to fit together and then it'll be a matter of who we're playing thanks, thanks.